Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, Laser Bill rocking the scene. Shouting it out to Vera. Eugene at the Quest Crew. What do you know, what do you know about them superheroes? Who knew Eugene was the bomb? All right, all right, so check this out. Here we are, leg day. Yeah, shake your camera around once you know. So, pow! Today's legs, we're just warming up, but we had to go slow on our warm-up squeezers. Look, my cameraman don't even know what he's doing. So, what we're gonna talk about while we do these legs, not babble, to warm up. Do you know how many years I've tried to do this? Do you know how long it's taken to get some sort of quality and, and, and time and effort? If you get depressed, shout out to Lincoln Park and all the people, all the brothers who lost their way on the path of life as Phil from Pantera and Down, the lead singer. Yes, Phil, Louis John Ensemble, and however he says his name. But you gotta drive on. You gotta find something positive to hook into. Everybody does. Everybody, every chance you get, you gotta hang on this own. All right, that's positive. So the hamstrings, golly, my cameraman sucks. You probably won't be able to see because there's too many people starting to pop around and it's making me nervous. There's a lay down hamstring like this. Bop, that you can pull. Let that thing sit there and there at the heels, not on your freaking ankles. But there's also the sit down hamstring. And what we're supposed to do is combine both. Don't just get stuck on one. There's a sit down one. So when it pulls, and of course you won't be able to see the contraction because it's underneath. Ah, who's the cameraman? Okay, there you go. So what's happening, you see what we're doing when we lay down, we pull from the hamstring here to here in midside. When we're sitting down, we make the hamstring pull down here in the belly. It makes a little ball down here. Like when you do your biceps, you can stand and do bicep long head. And when you bend over or do preacher curl and you shorten it up, you pop that peak out, you pull different. Angles, angle training, angle training. It takes the eye of the tiger, the monster inside, to pull and push and move dead weight all over the gym day after day after day. It takes heart, soul, and mind to understand that you're gonna have these days that are nasty. They're just nasty. They make you feel horrible and all this stuff. And that's where you're gonna say, I gotta click on some laser bill because he thinks he doesn't have those days, but he tells you he has those days. So, bam, I had a tiger. You know that girl sang that song. Uh, Ronda Rousey came out to the song, I had a tiger by that girl. There's a reason. Mine's the eye of the dragon. Can't see no quadricep kicking it on this angle because tattoo. So, slowly squeeze your stuff. You can put the feet out, pigeon toed. You can turn them in duck footed. Whatever way you want to hit, different angles, just go light enough that you don't pop your knee joints, and pop something in the knee. Just take your time, warm up slow. And then, we're gonna go down there and hit some leg sled. So hold on Vera, I'm gonna show some little foot positions on that. We're gonna pause this, we're not gonna stop. Same day, real time, real work. You do the whole leg at one time, not just part of it. So what's up, what's up? All right, so here we are on the leg press. We did the quads and hamstrings to warm up. Foot placement, kind of standard for first warm up sets and stuff like that. You know, bring it, look at that, look at that angle right there. Wow, 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 pow. See the angle of the joint? It's beautiful. Nothing over or under the knee itself, so the appreciate ligaments are fine. They make a little X on the inside of the joint, by the way. Anyway, the yeah. lightning is quite gnarly here. So, I like to go down and touch, even though I bump my butt up a little bit. Bump. I've been doing it for a minute, so I can bump my butt up if I want to bump my butt up. All right, it's not the safest, but still. Here we got some little toes, calves. If you don't feel safe with your heels coming off the edge, put them on the plate. You can rock back on the heels or just tip your toes up. A little short pop with the knee, and then the toes. But I can't stand to do that that much, so I try to put my toes on there like that, and my calves. And again, you can do it duck-footed, as they would say, or pigeon-toed, as they would say, 
whether that's socially acceptable terminology or not. It's simple. Now we got a foot placement right about the middle. You do this little sweet spot, poppers. When you think you're done with that long motion, don't just stop. Get into this little short motion right here. Keep the weight on the muscle and just work it a little bit. Let's work it. You'll be safe. Your clips, your lockouts are right there. So you'll be able to lock it out anytime you want. Just stay right there. So it burns to all holiness. See what I'm saying? So, we don't want to hit you right off the jump with the product placement, but hey, anybody and everybody should be hitting some juice up. That's the fruit, juice, vegetable, product. Yeah, I'm promoting that because it helps people. I have some people doing it with Parkinson's. I have people doing it that don't eat right. A lot of us. So, 30 bucks, I'm sending them to you. We don't just do the vegetable, you do the fruit and vegetable. Look at that bad stuff right there. What is it, 20 calories, 25 calories? Bah, bah, bam! Yeah, come get some. Ugh. Even you, Trevor. I done told you that, I'd send it to you. All the way out there in Texas. Rocking it with the Air Force. You better be training hard, Trevor, because I am highly motivated. Let's go, you're the key, you know this. What's up, Vero?